Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about the brand new vehicle that Rockstar teased the other day that's going to be coming in the Car Culture Summer Update. Uh, as you guys know, Rockstar talked a lot about what the summer DLC is going to look like and then the weeks leading up to it, the new content that's going to be arriving as well. Well, today I want to specifically focus on the one screenshot they showed off, which is this one right here. And we can actually get a handful of interesting details about not only the car itself, but also what's going on. So that's what we're going to be discussing in this video today. So let's start with the actual car itself. And I think we want to begin with what this vehicle is based off of in real life. So starting off, you can see from the logo on the back and also above the left set of taillights that this is from the automobile manufacturer, Karen. And we know that in the GTA universe, Karen is the equivalent of Lexus and Toyota, uh, basically one and the same. So we know it's either going to be one of these cars and it looks like it's more leaning towards the Toyota route here. And from what I've been able to tell, this vehicle definitely looks like it's a Toyota Celica. Celica, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. You guys can also let me know about that in the comments down below. I think the specific version might be a GT4. Now you guys, car guys can help me out here and you guys can let me know if that's right or wrong in the description, but I'll show you guys some real life examples right here. It definitely looks like the GT4 version of the Celica. Uh, one of the things that stands out to me was the blacked out taillight surround. That was one of the bigger giveaways that I noticed when doing some research on this car. And a vehicle like that certainly fits the theme of the update. As you guys know, Rockstar said this update was going to be about car culture and it was going to be about gearheads and being able to show off rides with new performance and customization. It sounded like a Fast and Furious sort of need for speed underground import export 2.0 update. So it's not surprising that we would get these tuner cars like that. And the Toyota Celica, definitely a vehicle that would fit into that category. So it looks like that is what the vehicle is based off of here. Let's go ahead and dive into a couple of other things that I have noticed, at least some customization options. Obviously you can see the massive spoiler on the back. That's gonna be an upgrade. It looks like there's some roll cage options as well that you can see on the inside of the vehicle. There's going to be a, definitely an exhaust option that I can see. Uh, I'd imagine that's an upgraded exhaust right there. Same with some of the diffuser and splitter upgrades that you can add here. You can see that there is front bumper upgrades as well on the front, as well as side skirt options. A lot of the, you guys have been wondering what kind of wheels those are if they're actually new ones. And we're at an interesting angle here, so it's a little bit difficult, but I think Rockstar is actually reusing rims here, believe it or not. I don't think this is getting its own new set. These look like the chrome versions of the Chocodori rims, which can actually be found in the tuner category, just with custom tires applied to them. So these are wheels that we've had in the game since day one. So it doesn't look like there's anything all that new there. It does look like this vehicle will have liveries. The one it's sporting right now is Fukuru. We can see on the side donning the big Fukuru logo with like the red, almost like diagonal kite design. So that's kind of cool. Some of the stickers on the back, I don't know if these are supposed to mean anything specifically or just design. It says mono exhaust system, hyper function suspension, four wheel rotation system, and then it says something clutch system. It starts with a D. So I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Some people have speculated that these are like the upgrades the car will have, not necessarily just what is on the livery, but I'm gonna lean more that this is just livery upgrades. I don't think we're looking at like, you know, additions to the car that are just being plastered on the back. Now, as far as that, I don't know if there's any other upgrades. I, I think that's neon underglow on the bottom, but that also could be the brake lights just reflecting all the way around. Now, a couple of other things that people have pointed out in this screenshot and things that I have noticed as well, this looks to be the underground garage or underground car meet area that Rockstar ended up describing on the Newswire. This place would allow you to show off your rides free from interference from authorities and other troublemakers. So I think that's what they're trying to show off here. It kind of makes you wonder where this is though, like where are these areas going to be scattered across the map? You would assume probably closer in the city, but it also wouldn't be shocking if Rockstar threw one of them out 
sort of in the desert, Blaine County, an area like that. Now, a couple of other things that people have been trying to look for. The first is this little guy in the bottom left-hand corner. This is throwing everyone for a loop. A lot of people are like, what is this little thing with the little arms coming off of it? Some crazy people have said jetpack. We already have that in the game. Other people have said that this is like a cone on like a racing circuit. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there's some way you could like play around with this in Photoshop. I, I know Rockstar did this intentionally where they made the sun shining in so bright that we couldn't really see anything on the outside except that tiny little structure right there. I'm really not too sure uh, what that is, but again, you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. And the other thing that players have been trying to figure out is what does that sign say right above the spoiler? Uh, I have no idea. I've tried to zoom in. I can't really get anything clear. Of course, the spoiler is blocking the most of it. At the top, it kind of looks like it says permitted or something like that. So who knows? You guys are definitely going to have to let me know uh, what those two are in those comments down below as well, because those were sort of the two things I was not able to figure out. But from this screenshot, I think it's very obvious where we are, and I think it's very obvious what this car is going to be. Now, as far as how expensive it's going to be, I don't know. I'm going to assume this is going to be in the sports class category, just looking at the fact that it's two doors. It looks like it fits the theme of other sports cars. I wouldn't imagine it's a supercar. I can't see it being in the coupe class. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It doesn't look like it's going to be in the sports classic. So I'm going to hedge my bets and say it's in the sports category here. And the sports category has some really expensive cars, and then it has some not so expensive cars. So on the low end, I think I would say maybe you're looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars here. On the high end, I would say no more than one point low million dollars. Like the Ocelot Pariah is one of the most expensive sports cars in the game at $1.42 million. It's also one of the best. So I can't imagine it being more than that. And I also can't imagine it being lower than like three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars So obviously, as we get more information on this vehicle, I'll be sure to let you know. But that should give you a good idea on one of the cars you're going to be able to purchase, design, customize, upgrade and store and of course show off in that underground garage area when this summer update does arrive in Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's all the information we have so far on this vehicle, this new Karen, which is going to be based off of the Toyota Celia, the GT4 variant. You guys can let me know what you think about this car in the comments down below. Number one, help me figure out everything we discussed in this video today. Number two, are you going to be buying it? Yes or no? And then number three, how much do you think it's going to cost and what category do you think it's going to be in? Let me know those and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.